Step into the thrilling world of the Wild Wild West, a 1965 TV series that blends the Wild West with cutting-edge gadgets and espionage. Picture this secret agent's gadgets galore and a dash of classic Hollywood charisma. Who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this TV series? As you dive into the episodes, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny anecdotes, shocking twists, and moments that might tug at your heartstrings. Keep watching because the journey is just as captivating as the destination. Have you ever been inspired or impacted by this TV series in your life? Share your personal stories in the comments below. We'd love to hear about those moments when the wild, wild west left its mark on you. And now we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the wild, wild west? We're all ears and eager to learn about your unique connection to this classic series. So, grab your popcorn, buckle up, and let's unravel the tales together. There's much more to discover, and we can't wait to hear your stories. In the mid-1960s, a television series emerged that took viewers on a thrilling journey into the heart of the Old West with a twist of espionage and gadgetry. Picture this a unique blend of Wild West grit and spy intrigue, all encapsulated in a 1965 TV series that captivated audiences. As the opening credits rolled, viewers were immediately captivated by the show's daring premise. It wasn't your typical cowboy drama, but rather a genre-defying experience that combined elements of Western adventure and espionage. This series brought a fresh and innovative concept to the television landscape of its era. The storyline followed with James West, a dashing and resourceful Secret Service agent, and his partner, Artemis Gordon, a master of disguise and inventor extraordinaire. Together, they embarked on a series of missions that seamlessly blended the rugged landscapes of the Wild West with the intrigue of espionage. This wasn't just a TV show, it was a testament to the creativity and audacity of its creators. Set against the backdrop of post-Civil War America, the show captured the essence of a nation in transition. The era's societal changes, technological advancements, and the ever-expanding frontier were intricately woven into the fabric of each episode, becoming a snapshot of its time, reflecting the dynamic spirit of the 1960s. What set the series apart was its ability to seamlessly fuse action, mystery, and humor. The charismatic lead, portrayed by Robert Conrad as James West, brought a swashbuckling charm that resonated with audiences. The chemistry between the characters, coupled with innovative storytelling, made it a standout in the world of television. Its significance extended beyond entertainment, challenging the conventions of traditional TV genres and paving the way for future shows that dared to blend seemingly disparate elements. The impact on the television landscape is undeniable, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to influence contemporary storytelling. In conclusion, it was more than just a TV series. It was a groundbreaking experiment that defied expectations and left an indelible mark on the 1960s television landscape. Through its unique blend of Wild West adventure and spy intrigue, the show carved out its own niche, captivating audiences and influencing the future of television storytelling. The production of The Wild Wild West, the 1965 TV series, unfolded with its own set of captivating behind-the-scenes stories. As the cameras rolled, unforeseen incidents and amusing bloopers added an extra layer of intrigue to the show. One noteworthy tale involves a scene where the protagonist, James West, portrayed by Robert Conrad, was supposed to gracefully mount a horse. However, in a humorous twist, the horse had a different agenda, deciding to nuzzle into Conrad's shoulder instead. The unexpected affectionate gesture prompted spontaneous laughter from the cast and crew, creating a lighthearted moment amidst the seriousness of the scene. In another instance, the iconic Artemis Gordon, played by Ross Martin, found himself caught in an unintentional wardrobe malfunction. During a particularly intense action sequence, Martin's bow tie suddenly decided to rebel, leading to an impromptu struggle to keep it in place. The cast, quick on their feet, turned what could have been a wardrobe disaster into a comical on-set memory. Behind the scenes, the camaraderie between the cast and crew shone through. Martin and Conrad's friendship, much like their on-screen personas, translated into a dynamic energy that resonated throughout the production. This off-screen chemistry contributed to the authenticity of their on-screen partnership, making the show even more enjoyable for audiences. Amidst the Wild West's thrilling escapades, unforeseen challenges occasionally arose. Stunt sequences, in particular, presented their own set of hurdles. 
A particularly daring scene involving a runaway train had the crew on their toes, ensuring both safety and cinematic excellence. The dedication of the stunt team and their meticulous planning ensured that the action-packed sequences were both thrilling and secure. In summary, the Wild Wild West production was not just about the scripted narratives, but also about the spontaneous moments that breathed life into the series. The laughter, camaraderie, and unexpected mishaps behind the scenes added a layer of charm to the show that endures in the hearts of its audience. Robert Conrad, known for his role as Jim West, donned three-inch heels during the production of The Wild Wild West. Notably, CBS adhered to a height restriction for female cast members, capping it at 5'6". This unique casting directive added a distinctive touch to the show's visual dynamics. In the fourth season, Ross Martin faced a health setback, suffering a heart attack and missing nine episodes. During his absence, Charles Aidman featured in four episodes, William Shallert in two, Alan Hale Jr. in episode 99, John Williams in 100, and Steve Carlson in 101. Martin's return transpired in episode 102, titled The Night of the Diva, yet only four more episodes were shot thereafter. Originally named The Wild West, the series underwent a nomenclature change to The Wild Wild West for its improved resonance. This decision contributed to the show's lasting identity. Navigating through unique casting choices, unexpected health challenges, and a strategic title change, The Wild Wild West forged its distinct path in television history. Richard Markovitz composed the theme for the TV series, The Wild Wild West, although he remained uncredited for his work on both the show and its film adaptation. Charles Aidman joined the cast temporarily, stepping in while Ross Martin recovered from a heart attack. The rail car used by James and Artemis was named The Wanderer One. These behind-the-scenes details add nuance to the show's production history. Aidman's role served as a vital support during a challenging period, and the thematic work of Markowitz remains a notable but unacknowledged aspect of the show's soundtrack. The inclusion of specific details, such as the rail car's name, further enriches the narrative of the wild, wild west. This combination of musical contributions, cast adjustments, and unique set elements contributed to the show's distinct character. Ross Martin, upon receiving the script for the TV series, meticulously crafted his character through a detailed pen and ink drawing. Every aspect, from glasses to posture, was considered. Collaborating with makeup artist Don Schoenfeld, they transformed Martin's face to mirror the intricate sketch. The show's unique blend of 1870s setting and advanced technology has retrospectively earned the label steampunk. This recurring science fiction theme, featuring inventors creating futuristic devices, became a defining element of the series, later coined as steampunk in the 1980s. Inside the train, all action scenes were filmed on a studio set with removable walls for flexible camera angles. Notably, a consistent exterior detail, a visible bush, inadvertently revealed the studio setting during entrances and exits. Even in distant shots of a seemingly isolated desert, the telltale bush persisted. These behind-the-scenes insights, from Martin's artistic involvement to the unintentional set quirks, add layers to the production history, shaping the distinct character of the series. James and Artemis, the dynamic duo of the TV series, operated two distinct trains throughout the show's run. The initial dark paneled model used during the black and white seasons differed from the more functional green and gold decorated model. The latter, remembered by most, housed the show's unique gadgets, adding a practical yet memorable dimension. Originally, the role of James West was slated for Rory Calhoun. However, the eventual portrayal by Robert Conrad is synonymous with the character. Conrad, known for his role as Jim West, faced wardrobe challenges. The tight pants he wore often split during action scenes, revealing period-incorrect jockey shorts in wide-angle shots of fight scenes. This practical issue became noticeable in several instances, contributing to the behind-the-scenes quirks of the production. The show's lead, Robert Conrad, once disclosed that the tight pants he wore frequently split open during action scenes, revealing period-incorrect jockey shorts in wide-angle shots of fight scenes. This practical issue became noticeable in several instances, contributing to the behind-the-scenes quirks of the production. Michael Garrison, the series creator, met an untimely end during the second season, slipping on a spilled drink at his new home, cascading down his marble staircase. 
The unfortunate accident led to his tragic demise. In the first season's black and white introductory cartoon, West's interaction with a woman takes a different turn compared to the subsequent color seasons. The initial season features a kiss follow would by a stabbing attempt, while the later seasons show West delivering a straightforward punch, leaving the woman stunned on the floor. Robert Conrad, responsible for his own fight choreography and stunts, faced a perilous incident that nearly claimed his life. Despite his hands-on approach, a stunt went awry, highlighting the risks inherent in his dedication to the series. The series, marked by its unique blend of 1870s setting and advanced technology, achieved lasting recognition. The inclusion of behind-the-scenes details, such as Garrison's unfortunate demise, the evolving introductory cartoon, and Conrad's near-fatal stunt, adds depth to the show's production history, shaping its distinct character. All these aspects, though marred by challenges, contribute to the narrative of the wild, wild west. In the realm of 1965 television, the show shared a subtle connection with other iconic shows filmed at the same studios. Familiar faces, often minor cast members, seamlessly transitioned across productions, making appearances in episodes of Star Trek, Batman, Get Smart, Mission Impossible, Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, and The Twilight Zone. These shared cast members added a unique touch to the series, creating an interconnected tapestry with other popular shows of the time. Known for its distinctive blend of 1 day to 70s setting and advanced technology, it became a part of this bustling landscape, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Behind the scenes, the show faced challenges and adjustments, including unexpected health setbacks and cast changes. A temporary absence due to a heart attack led to Charles Aidman stepping in, providing vital support during a challenging period. Meanwhile, the series' creator met an untimely end, a testament to the unpredictable nature of showbiz. Production history is further enriched by its musical contributions, with Richard Markovitz's uncredited theme and the unique details of the rail car named the Wanderer One. These intricacies, often overlooked, add layers to the character. Despite wardrobe challenges and practical issues like pants splitting during action scenes, the series continued to resonate with audiences. The evolving introductory cartoon, reflecting changing social norms and dedication to choreographing his own stunts, underscored the risks and enduring legacy of the show. In the world of 1965 television, its distinct character emerged from its unique blend of elements, shared cast members, unexpected twists in production, and a thematic blend of the past and future. This captivating journey, with all its quirks and challenges, contributes to the narrative of a show that has left a lasting mark in the annals of TV history.